So today I'd love to share with you a recipe for a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. And this is a really easy recipe. Um, I got all of the ingredients at a grocery store called Aldi. And this is super good and delicious. I don't know anyone who doesn't love a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. So I'll go ahead and show you the ingredients here. We'll need some balsamic vinegar, some mayonnaise, and some minced garlic, some Worcestershire sauce, and some green peppers, onions, and mushrooms along with this meat here, which I think works great in the sandwich, and some soy sauce, along with garlic and onion powder, and provolone cheese. They also sell these deli rolls, which makes the perfect Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Now this meat, I like to marinate it about at least a day before I plan to make the sandwiches. However, I will take about, oh, I'd say about 20 minutes and go through and just cut out any of those little tough spots in the meat because they can be a little bit chewy. Now you can certainly use a different type of meat if you like, um, but I will take that extra step there to make sure each bite is nice and tender. And we're going to use soy sauce and the powders for the marinade. So into a casserole dish, I'm going to drizzle about a half a cup of soy sauce over the meat, and I guess about a half a teaspoon um, of the garlic powder and half a teaspoon of the onion powder onto the meat, and we'll just massage it in there. And we want to let this marinate in the refrigerator overnight. I'll cook this meat fresh for each sandwich. Now here is another step that I take. If I'm making these at the beginning of the week, I will cook a lot of the vegetables that go into the sandwich so I can use them for other things. So I'll cook my mushrooms, my peppers, and my onions, and I will throw these into not just this sandwich, that I'm making but also different dishes which I'm showing to you here it just makes it a little bit easier to put together meals um, throughout the week if I already have this step done So I'll just cook all of these and put them into the refrigerator. So the next day it's time to put together a couple of sandwiches and we just want to open them up. Don't cut them all the way in two. And then with the olive oil, we'll give them a good spray and I'll also sprinkle them with a little bit of salt. Now I'll leave a list of all these different ingredients that I'm using down below the video. And now into my toaster oven, I'll broil them and I don't do anything else while I'm doing this because I don't want them to burn up too bad. Just enough to give them a little color and to make that a little bit crunchy there. Um, but I like for the outside to stay soft so I don't toast it, I broil it. And now in about a tablespoon of oil, um, I'm just going to go ahead and cook this meat here. And I'll cook it about anywhere from about 70 to 80% through. And that's just so it will develop some color and flavor on one side of the meat. And now we'll give it a little flip here and you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll go in with about a teaspoon of the Worcestershire sauce and just a sprinkle of that balsamic vinegar. Let it cook out just a little bit and then add my cooked onions, peppers, and mushrooms. And this will help deglaze that pan a little bit and bring up some of the goodness and all the good flavor there. Now onto my deli rolls, I'm going to spray a little bit of mayonnaise. If you have some favorite seasoning salt, you can use that. I'm just going to use the onion powder, garlic powder, and some paprika on here since those are real easy to find at Aldi. And now for the peppers, onions, and mushrooms. This is a really nice way to stretch your budget if you want a meat dish because you can certainly fill in more onions and peppers on here and use less meat and it'll still be a really good sandwich. And now we'll take our slices of provolone cheese. I'll need three slices. I'll just break those in half there. And there really is no measurement as far as peppers, onions and mushrooms and beef. You just use whatever ratio you like. Okay, so they have melted really nice there. I broiled them on the center rack in my toaster oven, and now it's time to dig in. Make sure you're eating this with somebody that you love because they are a mess, but that's what makes them so good. I hope you can make them soon. Thank you so much for watching, and have a beautiful day.